Hi, and welcome to Nelly's Surplus. Today we're going to set up our DVR for internet connection. What we need to do first is access the main menu. Go ahead and right click, select main menu at the bottom. And let's go ahead and select setting in the upper right hand corner of the window. Next, let's select network. Once inside the network screen, we're going to want to highlight the DHCP box by clicking it. As you'll notice, all the fields will go blank. After that, click the save button. Now at this point, it might take a couple minutes for it to actually assign an IP address. Another way to obtain the IP address is you can restart your DVR. What we'll do is we'll just wait a minute or so and see if it shows up. Let's go ahead and right click, scroll down to the bottom and select main menu. Let's go ahead and click the setting icon one more time and select network. As you can see to the left it's assigned an IP address to the DVR. To make that static let's uncheck that DHCP box. What that's going to do is save your IP address. Go ahead and click save at the bottom and exit out of the menu. the IP that you just wrote down is your DVR's LAN IP. Next what we need to do is verify that we can log in with Internet Explorer. Let's go ahead and open up the browser. And Next what we'll do is go to Tools, scroll down to Internet Options, and at the top you'll see a Security tab. Go ahead and click on that, and towards the bottom of the window it should say Custom Level. Go ahead and click on that button. Here you'll see a few settings. Let's scroll down about a quarter of the way, you'll see ActiveX, and there's three specific settings that we need to concentrate on. The first one you'll see should say Download Signed ActiveX Controls. The next one, Download Unsigned ActiveX Controls. And the third one, Initialize and Script ActiveX Controls Not Marked as Safe for Scripting. Let's make sure all those are set to prompt. Next what we'll need to do is set Internet Explorer to compatibility mode. Let's click Tools at the top and you'll see at the middle of the window it should say Compatibility View. If it's grayed out that's okay. That means you're already in Compatibility View. Now let's see if we can pull up the DVR's LAN IP address that we retrieved earlier. Let's go ahead and type that into the browser bar and hit Enter. You'll notice here at the bottom you have an ActiveX confirmation. Go ahead and click Allow on any of those that pop up. For username, let's do admin. For password, let's do admin. Go ahead and click login, and you should be looking at their four camera screen. Click open all, and there's your four camera view. Now that we can log in the DVR from a computer inside your network, let's go ahead and set it up so we can log in outside the network, such as a computer away from home. To begin, let's browse to www.ipchicken.com. And once we see the web page here, you'll notice the current IP address. This is your wide area network IP address. Let's go ahead and write that down. Next, we need to configure our router for port forwarding. This involves accessing the router's administration page. If you don't know how to do this, you may need to contact the owner's manual or customer support. Once you're inside your router's admin page, let's scroll down and find the option that says port forwarding. Let's go ahead and select that one. Keep in mind your administration page may look different than ours. Let's go ahead and select Add Custom Service. In the top here we'll type in any name, we'll just type in DVR1, that way we can identify it. And for the port, let's type in 80, and the ending port, go ahead and type in 80. And for the IP address, type in your DVR's IP address. Now that we have port 80 forwarded, let's go ahead and forward the next port. Once again, you can type in any name. We'll just go ahead and label this one DVR2. And for the opening port, let's type in 37777. For the ending port, the same, 37777. And once again, the DVR's LAN IP address that we retrieved earlier. Then let's click Apply. Next, we need to make sure ports 80 and 37777 are open and accessible, and they're not being blocked by your ISP. 
order to do this, we need to make sure that you're on a computer within the same local network as your DVR. Let's go ahead and browse the www.canyouseeme.org. Go ahead and hit enter. And you'll notice your IP at the top of the web page here. And in the field below, let's go ahead and type in 80 and click check. If everything was successful, you'll notice a little message at the bottom. It's basically explaining to you that your ISP is not blocked 80 and it's open. Next, let's go ahead and try 3777. Click check. And once again, if it says success, your ISP is not blocking those two ports. If your ports are still blocked, you may need to contact your ISP and have them unblock the ports for you. Now it's time to verify that we can log in from a computer outside your network. You can call a friend and have them do it on their computer, or if you have a computer um, away from your home network, you can try it there. First we want to do is type in our wide area network IP. Go ahead and type that into the browser bar, and click enter. And you should see the web service login page come up. Let's go ahead and type in the username and password. Let's click login one more time. From here, hit open all, and you should see all your camera views. And that concludes it for our tutorial. Thank you.